The strongest endorsement I can make of an album is to spend my hard-earned money on it. That said, what new metal have I bought lately? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm pretty picky about how I spend my money. Not that I'm cheap or anything. When I buy music, I try not to buy anything that I don't think has a real shot at the top 10 at the end of the year because I want to put my money into music that has replay value. That way I'm making the most efficient possible use of my entertainment dollar. That said, what metal has recently made the cut? Well, submitted with minimal comment? First up is Ultimate Abomination by Body Farm. Body Farm are a Dutch death metal band that formed in 2009, and this is their fifth LP, and the first I've heard of them, so props to K-Man Riss for finally getting them on my radar. Ultimate Abomination is some excellent modern Euro death for fans of Vader Unleashed and Darkened, and it was released on digital, CD, and vinyl by Edge Circle Productions. Next I bought Just Before Dawn's new EP, Battle Site Zeroing. Just Before Dawn are a Swedish death metal band, and they kick ass. Their 2020 LP and Army at Dawn cracked my top 20 album list that year, and their 2021 follow-up EP In the Realm of Ash and Sorrow made my top 5 EP list for that year. Battle Sight Zeroing is out on Intuit Records, which is a label change from Roskull Records, and it was released on digital and cassette. This EP is strongly recommended for fans of Hail of Bullets and other such light, weighty, grim, bleak, martial, abandon all hope style death metal, and if you don't know what Battle Sight Zeroing is, you're doing it wrong. After that was a three-track debut demo from Texas death metalers Throat Locust from Corpus Christi. This is another new-to-me band, and actually it's a new-to-everyone band in this case, so thanks again to K-Man Riffs for the introduction. This demo was called Drag Through Glass, and my initial comment on Twitter was a very frank expression of surprise that it's a demo from a new band. It's that damn good. Drag Through Glass is an independent, digital-only release, and if you like battering, chunky, violent, riffy, dirty death metal, you don't want to miss it. The fourth thing that I picked up was Deal with the Devil, which is the first EP from Indian Thrasher's Cask. This debut is another indie release on digital and CD, and it is four tracks of forward-leaning, blackish, slightly punky chug and power chord fueled thrash. It's a very respectable debut and well worth anyone's attention that likes black thrash in the vein of Toxic Holocaust. Plus, they have comfy chairs. And the last thing I bought, but certainly not the least, was Too Young to Die, the Vietnam War-themed debut LP from Spanish crust-punk band Landing Zone. Metal Archives lists this as a crust-thrash hybrid, but all I hear is pure, unadulterated, high-octane, bulldozing, overdriven crust-punk. And if that's your cup of tea, you definitely need to check this one out. It's an independent, digital-only release, so you gotta get it from Bandcamp or you ain't gonna get it at all. And speaking of Bandcamp, all five of these releases are on my Bandcamp fan page, which is linked in the show notes below, so you can go check them out for free. And if you like any of them, buy them and support the bands.